I don't know that's it was actual. <laughs> I'm getting it based off of life research. <laughs> you don't make it to uh, life research. Twenty eight yeah, without true. knowing why. Okay. No. Sometimes when I'm really, I'll drink a Red Bull and I'll yawn. So I do yawn also when I'm sleeping. But this that was a yawn of energy, I think. And you're the only human who does this on the planet. I feel like that was a BS answer. I feel like it was true for a while. Sometimes I like to just stick with these answers because trying to be creative is kind of. Um, oh, try Go ahead. Okay. So, back to my podcast that I'm so excited about. Lots of people from different lifestyles and different um, areas in their relationships and different. Um, sexual lifestyles um, mm. that I want to interview so I'm super 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 excited and uh, my dad owns a barbershop and so I thought it would be so cool to get him and the him and the barbershop crew in here and just because they could you know barbershops mm. they ain't nothing but a gossip place yeah. so they gossip just as much as a beauty salon so I thought it would be awesome because it's a bunch of the age group is like from here to here. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it would be awesome to get them in and just like let them talk about I don't know, whatever they talk about. Right. So I thought that would be like really awesome. Yeah. Cool, cool. I got that idea from him, so I'll, I'll give him his shine on that one. Woo! That is where you're planning on doing the events, right? At the barbershop? Is that, is no. that, is that what you were just like? Okay. No. Clarify the barbershop thing to make it. Right. So you said the barbershop? You, you want to do the... I was listening, but I thought you were saying that you would invite people to come record at the barbershop. No, I said I wanted to, I wanted to interview the people from the barbershop. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I was... Oh, you were yawning again. I... It might have been during one of the times. so much I was energy. Yawning. Let me it just... just burst out. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it if you put it, on special glasses. It, that's exactly what's happening. You know, rest is actually the highest output. Okay. No more theories. Um, Quantum theories. <laughs> might just we don't want to do that. And uh, okay, so the last thing I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, drop. I think um, this was fun. It was a, it was a productive Wednesday. But um, as far as uh, I like to think that, and, and me and Mr. Composition, we're we're kind of mapping out some of the the time that we used to spend on different things and stuff like that. I realize there's there's like a core amount of time that you actually end up spending, you know, doing the actual project that you like, you know, and, and just realizing that, that, you know, that the, the projects that we exist on, they really are at the tip of this iceberg, you know, and we kind of live the rest of our life around, like, the ability to accomplish these projects, and the reason I think, you know, identity, energy, and projects are all kind of wrapped into one is that, like, as long as what, like, you, cause it's only going to be, like, that one hour a day where you're really, really killing it or something like that, or one hour a couple times a day where you're really, really killing it and you're focusing on a self-actualized project. If you even get to that one hour, you might be kind of stuck. Um, sometimes, you know, habits and like, you know, just trying to get comfortable can, can um, take up a lot more time and kind of eat into some of that, um, into your project time. But, um, so I think, yeah, getting that little tight little bundle, but knowing that it's a little bit of time and just kind of planning for that, I think is, has been something that's been very helpful um, um, for me. And uh, having what we do now is we do these. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to share this. Oh yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> but we have a production Mondays and Wednesdays, and um, basically the way that I think about it is, and I know this conversation is even more detailed on it, but it's four hours of time, and then one hour of those times I say that's when I have to be really working, and three hours of those. I consider a time where um, I'm kind of just, you know, this time spent like arranging things, moving around, all those things, they eat up time. They actually take up a lot of time, getting your laptop through like it, being comfortable and stuff like that, opening up the programs, doing a little pre-research or whatever, setting up the, the Netflix. Setting up oh, okay. the Netflix? The Netflix, because I thought you said you watch stuff while you type. I don't watch the Netflix, I think it's just Netflix. <laughs> And I'll watch Big Bang Theory. <laughs> but yeah, all those other things, they, they, they take up a lot. It's like going to the Walmart. <laughs> in California thing. In California, we say the everything. I'm not because even. We, I'm we're California. living the. Oh, you're California I'm too. California. I'm not having a good day today. I'm, I'm 
losing. Oh. You're having such a good day. Speak you your guys. truth. You <laughs> now you guys are encouraging me. After I'm down. <laughs> do you say the? Do you really say the? The Netflix. I don't know. So I had a super idea before we break out because I really like that Gary V was doing this. And so he was just all like, he went around and he was just all like, what's the one thing you're like super obsessed with right now? And not so like fun. a super like, humane thing it's cool. just like what are you obsessed with but what i want to do with that is what are you obsessed with and what do you think what, what you was your biggest obstacle this week oh, Alexis, this is super awesome um okay. bubbling over a little bit all right yeah, can i go Let's yeah. go. Yeah. All right, I'm like it because like I've been on this radical change thing so i've been doing a lot of work with my mental health and um i've been I have such a supportive team and I'm so grateful for all the people that are working with me on my mental health and provide me with some amazing books to read but one thing I'm learning is that like there's it takes radical change to shift to do some of the mind shifts because it could be very easy for me to just to say well okay this is a diagnosis this is a reason this is a situation and my life is going to be like right here like this is where this is what my where this is my playing field but there's so many like professionals who have all kind of like things all kind of situations and it's like what do you believe what do you plan for yourself so that means that i need to radically level up my belief system so that i'm not living in this box of circumstances and so i've been really like thinking a lot about that i know you guys know like i try to eat clean as possible i try not to eat a lot of snacks because sugar isn't always the best thing for your brain and chips at the end of the day are going to just convert to sugar. But like just being radical, like intentional, so I'm like really working on like not eating out. I've set these goals to like do so many push-ups a day, just to even push myself to have like, feel the success of feeling my body change from doing the push-ups. It's like, so I'm a little bit obsessed with the radical change and really doing intentional things to help me level up my discipline because um, it takes a lot of discipline of mind to change your mindset about things. And, if you're thinking in ways that don't empower you, so yeah, an obstacle. an obstacle is that mindset. Is kind of some of the things that I could use to like. That's why I asked her about the demon voice. So we had a podcast and I asked this woman about the demon voice because I'm kind of really interested in it because you can listen to it or not. And so one of the obstacles that I have is um, just well, you know, I can say it's dealing with a voice, but something else is coming up for me. It's really like what is Frankie? So um, that's a big obstacle that I'm working through. And my goal is just to set time aside to sit down and look at my websites, look at my writing, and gain clarity on that. And I know it'll come. I don't want to push a force. That's one thing that I've made my mind up around for a solution on it. If I'm not clear on what is Frankie and what she provides, I'm not going to push and force because it's been about six months of me being intentional and I haven't found anything that excites me. That's where I'm like the year of yes and the year of no. I'm not totally excited about it, but I don't think I have to jump into it because I have to have something. Maybe I just need to continue to gain a little bit more mental strength right now. Maybe I don't need to jump onto like this is Frankie. And so, yeah, that's what I'm working on. That's interesting. Um, I know what I would suggest, um, because I went through that as well, and that's why I started that 100 day challenge to release a song a day, because it was reestablishing who I was, like even what it is that I was doing. And so it was around day 16 after I heard these songs I hadn't heard in years, and like just re putting them out. Yeah. I was just all like, oh, that that's who I am. Like, you know, it was just so clear as day at that point that I was just all like, oh, that's why. Because I listened to it and I'm just all like, oh, that's what I dealt with. That's how I'm able, that's my communication style to people, like right. to where they can resonate with me the best and that I'm, you know, at this point, what I have put my time, attention, and energy into since elementary school you know in some way shape or form and so yeah. like I like the idea that you're doing these challenges and these disciplines um I think that's a good idea like you tell me your story and I'm just like you did what like I get hype hearing about your story and all the different places that you went so I don't know like with going over photos or times or anything that you were in these places maybe 
practice trying to sit with it, sit with where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first part of that question again? Oh, what are you obsessed with and what's your obstacle for this week? Okay. I'm obsessed right now um, with building. Um, we were at HEB today, right? And I, I, I'm weird. So every time me and Kevin are in HEB, I have epiphanies about, you know, mm. supermarkets and why <laughs> and how they exist. And I realize, you know, the most valuable thing about HEB is the extremely complex structure of, uh, of um, in personnel management that they have. Um, and the way that they have, you know, the people who have to check on the displays and the people who stock, you know, and then of course cashiers, and then just the, the number of people who are checking, you know, if this product goes on this shelf and how this should go, and then all the people over all of their little different departments and things like that. And I just realized for a lot of these um, businesses, the most valuable thing is the structure that they provided. And so I'm just going all in, I, I'm, I've been for a while and I'm just building a lot of like back end things and systems and figuring things out for Project Floor. And so I'm really obsessed with that and I love it and I love spreadsheets and I love all these things that like put things into boxes and stuff like that. So I easily get obsessed with that. I can, I can do spreadsheets to, all day, not leave. I'm not going outside. So I'm obsessed with that. As far as obstacles, that gets interfered with. I say that the greatest interference in life is comfort. And um, <clears throat> the only thing that gets in the way of me doing work is like some sort of comfort seeking um, activity. Like, be like, oh, it's chips time. Or like, <laughs> like, just, or like, you know, um, there are just a number of different things. And so finding a way to. <clears throat> Um, not get too comfortable. Comfort has been my greatest obstacle. I don't want any comfort. Zero. I want to be Yay. uncomfortable all no the time. Yeah, down. sure. It's good to be comfortable sometimes. In fact, Whoa. I want to do a rest event pretty soon where I do like a seven hour, we all go out to the park, Brackenridge, and um, not even all, just like a few people, or, or like a camping trip. That might just be fun. I've been oh, waiting to go to a state park. Something and where there's just been some getting, camping that I've been thinking camper? about. No. Thinking about <laughs> Shut that I looked at the campsite today, so this is, so you're speaking something into being. I looked at the campsite today, oh, yeah? and I went to invite you guys to a campsite, so uh, yeah, do uh, I don't have a tent and all that stuff. Oh, I don't got none of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. You can get that. All in, <laughs> where we need at least two tents, though. You know, tent. three tents actually. I don't want to share a tent with anyone. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I was like mentally over here counting, but I was gonna say nothing. I was gonna be Airbnb because this whole camping thing and being black is like I don't know if I would be that uncomfortable. I feel like, especially in Texas. You were asking for I don't know. I personally have so much. I, right. I mean, they have multiple room tents. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Room tents? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like you can get a three room tent. I've never, like, in a hair product, you know? No, like, like, at, like, like yeah. Academy yeah. and yeah. all types of places. Yeah, you can like, get, like, a three room tent. That would be perfect. Yeah, they do that as kids. Yes, like, I think, like, multi complex three bedroom, like, Blanket house. Okay, I'm not even a camper and I know this. Like, <laughs> I'm not about that life. I'm not, I I've camped that. literally once and my friend had a tent. But See, I, that's exactly what I'm, I'm, I'm like, I need, we need to attract someone with a tent. Because well, Dom seems like he has a tent. Why are we buying that? can just oh, attract so a ride enough. to Academy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> one thing you're obsessed with. And your obstacles. And your, and your, <laughs> your obstacles. So I'm obsessed with, right now, it has nothing to do with like, writing mm -hmm. but <laughs> yes but i'm obsessed with gardening oh, oh, heck yeah. talk to me what kind of things so no, every that's so summer, cool okay me and my husband <laughs> every summer have a garden this is gonna be great. and so in my free time which is another distraction i <laughs> am on pinterest i am on google mm. and we are we already bought our seeds for the year we are looking at the greenhouse. We are um, already getting ready to purchase our soil. So we are getting ready. We had to wait for the rain to stop and everything, but we uh, already got our like little things to plant on the inside first. Last year we got really good peppers and we got good uh, green beans. Our tomatoes didn't make it because of some other stuff anyways. So this year we're doing a greenhouse and 
I have, like if you come to my house in my kitchen, I have my aloe vera plants, I have another little, I'm obsessed with plants, and we love gardening. Can I tell you, I should talk to you. Yeah, and you, you're going to be so excited. The show, and then I haven't invited you yet, I want you to be a guest on it so you can talk about because by then your, your book will be almost done. And, exactly. and you'll have started putting out some excerpts. So the show I'm doing on March 24th, I also didn't tell you I want you to co-host. I don't, anyway, tell you guys March now. 21st is a Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's, it's Wednesday. I will be flying in from California. Oh yeah? That's okay. Um, but um, we're doing the show at a garden. We're doing a go live with Kenya at a garden. Stephen really? Lucky with yeah. Gardopia Gardens. That's so fantastic. He comes here too. Oh my gosh. See, I love, yeah. me and my husband, we love gardening. Yeah. We're obsessed with it. So that is he's like a really. Black, uh, community gardener. And he's trying to, his whole thing is he wants to get everyone to garden. Yeah. See, that's my thing. Me and my husband, we're obsessed with it. We had like a little one last year. And um, once it started getting cold, I like, let my garlic go. I didn't even finish it. But um, like, like last year, we planted a lot of stuff. This year, we're planting so much more stuff. We're doing squash, we're doing peppers, tomatoes, we're doing all of it. A girl's big enough, A baby's big enough to enjoy the garden? Yes. Oh, they love awesome. to help out. Oh. So they oh. like to try, but then they get bored with it after about a week or two. <laughs> and that's how we end up taking over, and that's how we end up being obsessed with it. <laughs> um, they're going to do a flower garden. Mm -hmm. So I bought them flowers, and um, they're going to take over the flowers. And, so it'd be pr they just like the prettiness. They yeah. don't, the vegetable, yeah. they don't even like vegetables. So <laughs> me and like, why would I grow these things? And, and, and now I have to eat them? Yeah. 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 And like, no, it doesn't make incentive to eat them? Like, maybe you did it. You did it. <laughs> if we tried that, we even let them help cook. And then and they were just like, yeah, why would I cook this? You know? And they're like, why would you make me? Like, we did Brussels for Twizzler. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could unwrap a, a Twix and it'd be so much better. So, like, we tried Brussels sprouts, we've tried squash. Like me and my husband we love vegetables. Mm -hmm. My kids think they are like the devil. Except green beans and corn. Only two vegetables we have okay. successfully got. Thank to. God. For the green beans and the corn. Yeah. And uh, corn. We tried uh, Pinterest on a couple of uh, vegan or vegetarian um, vegetable plant based uh, snacks and stuff for them. No. Yeah, that's what I go on pictures for. Like, all my health stuff is like all on point. There's so many. But see, me and my husband would do it, but then my babies were like, my youngest one, she's really like visual. So mm -hmm. she's kind of like. Yeah. It's she okay. likes, but she likes meat. Like, she's my meat person. Oh, yeah. She's like, chicken. Can you make chicken and green beans? Like, that's her favorite. <laughs> chicken and green beans. And she'll eat it. Chicken, green beans. That's what I want. <laughs> like, that's her meal. Chicken green beans, don't mess with me. That's what I'm on. <laughs> like she's real country. Chicken green beans, corporate. Like, that's what I'm on. My obstacle is this week is dealing with the demons, kind of. Um, Everyone's battling demons. Let me let, let's take a break right now and do some real demons. <laughs> Let no, me my finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my job this week has been really, really, really stressful. Like extremely stressful this week. Um, and so it's just a matter of like me coming home and like literally like falling to sleep in bed. So I haven't had time to do anything. Mm -hmm. And then a matter of just like I still need to focus on this. My babies are like, Mommy, I want th I'm hungry. Mommy, I want th and I'm just like, okay, baby, okay. So I found enough energy to like find something yeah. to eat. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay. Like, I'm just gonna draw through somewhere. And like I'm like don't like to do drive throughs. I'm trying to eat healthy because I have health issues that I'm not supposed to eat that way. Mm -hmm. So that's another okay. thing. But when I stress, I I'm a stress eater. Mm -hmm. So I start eating bad and I start drinking my sodas again. Well then I get sick. So I've been having a soda every day. Well, now I'm sick to the stomach, mm -hmm. and I'll start having like stomach problems. And now I'm like, well, damn, I'm making myself sick now, you know. So now I'm like, I know by the end of this week, I'll probably my stomach will be out here hard and won't mm -hmm. be barely able to walk. But <laughs> I'll, yeah. and I'll be I'll be really like in bed, like oh my tummy hurts. And I'll be like you did it to yourself, you know. Yeah. And I'll be like drinking my water, trying to feel better, eating vegetables. Like, I I should have just ate my squash. <laughs> I should have just ate my squash. I should have made the chicken and biscuit. <laughs> you know, like, I laugh about it now, but like I really had church last <laughs> Like I'm eating this bad food because I'm stressing and like, because I'm like, I'm 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So like my job is stressful that I'm still trying to keep track of stuff at home. Right. Plus get this side business started. So it's just like so I've really been battling the stress. So when I battle the stress, I'm a stress eater, so then I start my health goes down. Mm. What do you do about stress eating? Do you have any stress eating? Ideas? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, basically what I would do, because I'm not perfect, I'm bad with like snack foods, like in general. Like I don't eat meat, um, but you know, that's one of my biggest vices is snacking. My thing is all Can about- Can Kevin has had a major weight loss and has done some fantastic stuff with his body and his health. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and so my whole thing is convenience. If I'm, cause I've battled or battling a reoccurring pyelonidal cyst. And so that's based off of stress. So a lot of times I'm super in my head about a lot of stuff, like 99% of the stuff that you think about is stuff that like literally is not happening. So it's like um, when I look um, with that, Pinterest has been super beneficial with that as far as um, meal prep, as far as easy stuff that like that. Um, and what I've found is those box of times of being like, okay, I know if I do this right now, this is going to save me so much time over the week. Yep. Like, yep. you know, yep. so um, that like is my main thing. And is I that, think that's where I messed up this week was with the stress. I had meal prepped. Mm -hmm. And if I would have meal prepped, that would have like made this week so much easier. But mm -hmm. I didn't meal prep, so that just added to the stress, I think. Yeah, and I think I'm, I'm a big fan of recharging. Um, I take time for myself like as often as I can. That's why I like going parks, different things like that, mm -hmm. um, just getting re-centered because it's like when I'm not, it will just be this spiral effect. And just like you were saying, like I find myself where I'm just like, all right, if I keep on doing this, I'm definitely going to get this way. I'm definitely going to feel sick. And I'm just like, yeah. oh, it's here. I knew exactly. it happened. And it's just yeah. all like yeah. getting from that, um, that knowing stage to feeling. And it's just yeah. all like it being getting into that feeling and just being like okay i know that i'm going to feel like crap let me go ahead and get through whatever so that way i don't feel like that because i know that it's gonna i'm gonna feel that way mm -hmm. um so that would be like my main thing is like interest on health um different things mental health regular eating stuff recipes and then finding the time to recharge like i think mm -hmm. will do you amazing i like that all right, well, I think we should slice it on down, and then um, that's it. Yeah, thanks, guys. And, mm -hmm. oh, what was I going to say? Um, so I'm going to edit this thing, and I'm going to put it online. If this is still recording, if not, I'll record this last part again later. Is it recording? Oh, yeah, it's still right, cool. <laughs> um, so if you're watching, so I'm going to edit this down. I'm not going to put the whole thing on there, so it'll be like, like highlights or something like that. Um, but uh, if you are watching and you want to come, you can't. But, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Because, <laughs> well, the main point is for this to be at maximum, like seven people or something like that, nine people. Um, but I, I definitely want you to keep watching. And I hope that, I, um, that we put it up there in different ways so that you can engage with it. But what you can do is next week, for sure, next month, this one's only gonna be once a month, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it live. So, on Facebook, but you'll have to be in the fiercely supporting group on, well, not really, you'll just have to go into the group that day, I guess, because it's a public group. But it's going to be live on Facebook, because uh, I think um, there's like a couple other people um, who I really want to check out live, and they might have their questions, and we can talk about your stuff a little bit, and then maybe that'll give us some, some more ideas. So, find a way to recharge. I think that's what I'm taking away from this whole thing. We all need to go to a park. That's that's the neck the challenge for next month. Spend two hours soaking in sun at the park. Recharge yourself, especially black people. White people, um, get some mayonnaise. I'm just joking. I have so many white friends that was not real. Just because it's all black people in the room right now. White people also get some sun in. <laughs> it's a real it's real proof. Okay. How can you have not? How can you be racist if you have white uh, friends who are a different race? Pretty sure. You still can. You can. Totally you can be, be a little, but you, you're, you can't be the whole. You can't be a, be a whole racist. Yes, you can. You can.
Can you pre That's like the white like guy saying, hey, like, yeah, yeah, I got black friends. That's like, yeah, that's like, I got like four black friends. I'm not racist. <laughs> that's getting cut out. <laughs> Reach out. Everybody. White and black. We're gonna make like the shade room with that shit, right? I thought it was like entrepreneur. They like T S R and I keep finding that shit on Instagram all the time. I'm like, who the fuck that came up with this shit this time? And look, you're gonna be like I don't know if TSR is. You are gonna blow look like Kingo's gonna blow up for real like Oh man, yay! Right? Okay. Um, okay, yeah, cool. I will. I want to do like, um, but yeah, we're done. So. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, that was awesome.